Good morning and thanks for watching. Good day Saturday. I'm Uzazio Quadza. Sally has the day off. We begin with breaking news out of Chicago's northwest side. Two people were hurt in an apartment fire in Logan Square. The fire started around 2 this morning near West Fullerton Avenue. We're told the fire was on the second floor of the complex. A man and a woman were taken to the hospital in critical condition. It was a somber welcome home. The remains of a U.S. soldier from Chicago who was killed in Afghanistan were flown back to Chicago yesterday for his funeral. It was a difficult day for Michael Nance's family who told us he died doing what he loved, serving his country. Fox 32's Larry Yellen has the story. Here in the United States of America, we treasure our sports such as American football, basketball, and baseball, but there are many sports that go unheard of and relatively unparticipated in. Sports such as boxing, but right here in Des Plaines, Illinois, you can come to Rico's Fitness and Boxing, learn all about the culture, and be taught how to box the right way. Let's go inside. <laughs> This Plains has many things you can do to pass the time away, but nothing like Rico's Fitness and Boxing. I went into the gym to see what the life of an amateur boxer was truly all about. I just want to talk about your, your background. You grew up in the Michigan area. How did uh, Michigan mold you into the person and the basketball player you are today? A lot. You know, just, you know, growing up, you know, learning the fundamentals of the game, um, playing the right way. Um, you know, I had a big brother in Michigan that you know, I used to compete with and everything. Um, so... You know, Michigan, you know, I created a lot of success. That's where I started travel ball. That's where I started AAU ball. So, you know, I've been playing since I was a child, and that's where it all started. Hey, Blake, we see that you can still play around with the game of basketball. Have a little bit of fun with it. When you do things like that, we just basically before we started rolling the camera, we saw him shoot around taking half-court shots. But when you do things like that, take half-court shots and just mess around, how does it remind you about the Blake Griffin before the NBA, the Blake Griffin before the fame and everything with it? Um, you know, we, we all play basketball because we, we loved it, you know what I mean, and still love it. Um, so, you know, you can't lose that joy, um, even through the season, the grind, the shoot-arounds, the bus rides, the pl airplane rides. Um, you know, having fun with it, doing stuff like this is, is uh, yeah. keeps it light, keeps it fresh. And one thing you're really focusing on is rehabilitating and trying to get back into the grind of things. And just so far in the early part of the season, how has that been for you? Uh, good. I feel great. I feel great. You know, just trusting our training staff, uh, but definitely feel um, feel like I'm in the, in the in the best spot possible. So I'm um, just waiting for them to give me the go the green light. Yeah. And um, you're here in Chicago today, and I ain't gonna lie to you. We love Blake Griffin. We love the Pistons, but a lot of us are here for Derrick Rose, <laughs> and um, just seeing Derrick Rose and how far he's come this season, and just like what he's doing. How does that inspire the rest of your team to get better? Uh, he's been unbelievable, man. Um, you know, we, we uh, I've known him for a long time. Same high school class. Yeah. Uh, watched him go through everything here. Um, you, you know what he what he's meant to the game of basketball and the impact he's had on the game of basketball is is, uh, is tremendous. Um, so to see him get love in all these places we go, and, and I, you know, I'm interested to see how it is here. I mean, I know he's going to get love, but it's really cool to see a guy come back that meant so much to the city, means so much to the city, uh, come back and get the respect he deserves. Yeah. Welcome back to the CKW Network. I'm Uzazio Quats, alongside here with Aaron Gordon of the Orlando Magic. How are we doing today, Aaron? Oh, I'm doing great, man. Thanks. Uh, it's the first game of the year. How you feeling? First game of the year? First game of 2019. Yeah, how you feeling? Oh, shit, it is the first game. <laughs> <laughs> it's an influential. I'm sitting here with former Chicago Bull Kyle Korver. Kyle, you're also one of the greatest shooters in NBA history. How does it feel to come back to Chicago? I always love coming back to Chicago. I mean, I had such great memories being here. We had a team that 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 scrapped and fought and overachieved i thought in a lot of ways um and i it felt like the city really connected with those with those groups that i was on like when i come back people still talk about you know those years and just you know watching the fight of the team and and uh i'm grateful i got to be a part of that and being a newcomer in milwaukee what have you noticed about this team playing with a reigning mvp like Giannis? what have you noticed about this team that brings a liking to you yeah, I mean it's 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 similar to that to those those uh, Chicago years and that you know got guys who love the game. Good morning and thanks for watching. Good day Saturday. I'm Uzazio Quadza. 